water is one of our most important natural resources. We need to protect the water and the water quality. There are these little like sea bands. My name is Sarah Preheim. I am a microbial ecologist at Johns Hopkins University. I study the microorganisms that are changing the chemistry of the water. Today we're going to go out on the Chesapeake Bay and we're going to look at how the microorganisms influence some of the chemistry there. The dead zone is an area of a water body with low oxygen. And it's caused because of pollution coming into the water body. This causes organisms like crabs and oysters to have to either move out of the area or die because they don't get enough oxygen. All right, so I'm just gonna hook up this probe and then we're gonna send the whole thing down in the water. Once the probe gets down just under the surface there. We study microorganisms by collecting water. One microliter of water has about 100 to 1,000 microorganisms just within that tiny drop of water. We bring that back to the lab. Because a lot of the microorganisms look the same and you can't differentiate them just by looking at them under the microscope, we use the DNA sequencing technology in order to understand something about the ancestry of the microorganisms. Just like you would do a DNA test to learn about your own ancestry, we do that for the microorganisms. And then ultimately that results in the sequence data that we analyze and compare to databases so that we can understand which organisms are present and what they can do. And uh, this can be one meter depth. We're trying to improve the predictions by listening to the microorganisms so that we can tell people how much do you really have to stop polluting in order for the water quality to improve. If we can reduce the pollution, we can have beautiful natural resources and also have productive ecosystems like the Chesapeake Bay.